All righty, hello, ladies and gentlemen. So um, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to finish um, your magnifying glass. So when you get to the point of finishing your magnifying glass, you need to look over your magnifying glass very well. Your magnifying glass needs to be clear of saw marks, which are potentially the marks left over by your relief cuts, pencil marks, scratches, dents, um, burn marks, all of those are blemishes. You need to make sure your piece is sanded everywhere with 220 so it's feeling really nice and soft. Okay, you're gonna have the option to stain with two different finishes. We're gonna do a golden oak and a medium walnut. Medium walnut's gonna be a little bit darker. Um, when you go to stain, only one partner is going to stain. So one partner is gonna get two gloves and one rag. There's gonna be a table set up for staining only, no sanding or anything at that table, only finishing. Um, there is no need for both partners to put on gloves when one partner is gonna be staining. So please do not waste my gloves. Okay, so first things first, um, I'm gonna stain a board, each board a different color so that way you guys have something to reference. So when you go to stain, and with this big gallon, I may, if there are lots of people staining that day, Cheese or cheese. I may um, pour it into a smaller piece or bowl. I can get it open. Okay, I'll work on that later. Let's go with the golden oak color. Um, if you're doing if you are doing a burn mark pattern um, with the wood burners that are currently in the art room, um, you probably want to go with the lighter option. You probably want to go with the golden oak so that way your burn pattern shows up a little bit better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do it with this one if I can open it. Although this color is not a color, you will have an option to, so I will give you an example later. So whoever is staining needs to have gloves on. Okay, this will stain your, it'll make your hands feel really nasty because um, it's oil-based, but also it will stain your clothes um, or anything if it is gets on there, so be very careful. So if you're using the small container, you'll just take your rag, dip it up, Okay, you do not want to mix colors on the rags. Okay, then simply all you do is you rub it into the wood grain. You rub it into the wood grain where it looks nice and even. Uh, you guys will go everywhere on your magnifying glass. So you need to get inside the circle, outside the circle. Um, on the edge of your magnifying glass is gonna be wood grain. So you can see that that looks a little bit, or end grain, excuse me. You can see that looks a little bit darker there. That is because it is end grain. So end grain is like where the part of the celery where you cut. So right where you cut, it opens up all those pores in the piece of celery where it's gonna soak up more. Okay, end grain is the same thing. It soaks up a little more. You guys are gonna have to make sure you get the end grain really nice. You get the face and the edges really nice. Um, if your piece is not sanded down to 220 really well, it's not gonna look, it's not gonna look enhanced when you go to finish it. If your piece is sanded down to 220, all your blemishes are removed, your piece is gonna look really nice and finished. Um, it's gonna look enhanced when you add the finish. Okay, so that's how you apply it. You make sure everywhere is covered. You make sure it's an even coat. And then um, I will give you a location to put it for drying. Okay, if you have any questions, reach out. Remember, one partner um, gets two gloves. This is not a two-partner job.